Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the third part two episode number 69 and episode number 112 reactions and these are all based on recommendations and um, there are still a few more uh, episodes that I can take recommendations of six more episodes so if you want to still recommend me episodes from uh, part two you can be, feel free to do so uh, each person two episodes so yeah now uh, the previous two episodes that i reacted to i don't remember the episode num number but those two episodes it's it was amazing i really loved the uh especially the the, the final one the, which had like you know um jigen as like the main focus that was like that episode was really like and I, I just loved it so much it like you know the whole little twist you can say in the end that was impressively well done like they even uh like, you know tricked me as well and uh that was like my favorite episode out of those two and the one with the detectives i think in the sky i think that was the name that as well was really good i loved seeing like you know sherlock holmes and a few other um you know famous people uh like i never thought i'd see sherlock holmes in detective conan but yeah like i uh, not detective conan sorry oh my god <laughs> i'm mixing everything up in rupan um like in obviously like but i guess like you know like it, it was like eventually sherlock holmes was going to be introduced because this is basically arsene lupan so <laughs> like yeah holmes will definitely be involved in some way or the other i wonder if uh, holmes comes back in the future maybe he will maybe we're going to see him in the future uh seasons i don't know but i'm kind of interested like you know <laughs> meeting him again and yeah it, it was it was funny it's like like you know seeing the whole thing I, but you know what this is not the actual Holmes this is the Holmes the third so yeah I guess but still you know like yeah whatever but yeah I, lo I love that episode as well and the the way like you know Rupan and everyone kind of <laughs> tricked them and everything and that was kind of uh, interesting and uh, yeah it was funny as well but my favorite episode was episode uh, the one with Jigen in it so those two were amazing i loved it and let's see what these two episodes bring i again i have no idea and uh, like you know i'm kind of randomly like you know like jumping in into the, these different episodes so it's kind of interesting to see like obviously these are standalone episodes i don't have any like you know problem understanding what's happening because rupan in rupan like you know like the, these episodes are as I said, stand standalone, so it's not a problem that you need to know the previous story or whatever. It's really well to start. You know, you can just pick any episode and you you like and understand it very well. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, let's get started. Let's see what these two episodes bring. And first episode sixty nine. Let's see that, and then I'm going to react to the other one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number sixty nine of Rupan the Third Part Two reaction so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one Hmm. You know what? I I I really like this opening. I think we we saw this in the previous video as well. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the same opening. But it's really like you know this. I don't know why, but like the animation looks so clean here. Um, like obviously I'm like you know comparing this to season one, which came out a lot earlier. But still. <laughs> Zenigata. <laughs> oh, I think this is this episode is focused on Zenigata, I think. I think like someone in the comments told me, yeah. So okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
What's happening? What's this? Seems like <laughs> drinking more to get a hangover. I've heard this. Is this true? You know, like you drink more to get over. What? World famous billionaire. But Rupan might have something. Oh! Where's. Wait, what? Who the hell? Don't. Um, how will he know where's Rupan? Wh why did he shoot the. What? Oh, he's wearing a mask. That's why he shot. Okay. Wait, this is a girl. What? Who is he? <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Well, that's not nice. You're destroying his house. What the hell? Did he have this ready or something? <laughs> Wait, what's happening? The woman pops fell in love with. Oh, Tosan no Horetan. Okay, this will be interesting. Oh, Goemon is here as well? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Fire pops is vintage. True. Exactly. Oh. Oh my god, wait. What is this? How did he know? <laughs> okay, you know what? We should probably... What the? They're just shooting mortars. Okay. Girl just... Wow, this is really like you know unusual. Like he's asking Rupan for help this directly. Like damn. Okay, what do we do now? This is, wait, that that lady. Yeah, yeah. Why did he, she come here and ask for Lupin? I was waiting for this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why is she, she has not said anything. Is she mute or something? Oh, the scandals of nation. Oh. Oh, that's why she's oh. She's not speaking. That's why. Okay, makes sense.
No, no, I think she can. But she's probably like, you know, being cautious or something. No, wait, what? Oh, no. Wow, what type of a... Wow, great. This this guy seems like a very great character. Like just keeping your wife like you know like like as hostage or something. And then stops the explosion. Oh great. <coughs> yeah. What a funny story. Oh my god. Wow. Yo! Yeah, is that how he died? Oh damn. Wait, so now she's stuck. She cannot Exactly. Die. That's true. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Just. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, just <laughs> Oh no. What? Chronic <laughs> what? I shouldn't laugh at this, but what? The... This guy <laughs> Oh my god. Damn, the way they're oh I think they're gonna do it. Yeah, jump, okay. All right, let's see. Dance. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? What? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure they went like you know they just got out. Weird way to kill people, I have to say. Like, obviously, that's his jacket. He, he's not in there. <laughs> oh 
Oh boy. <coughs> Four minutes. Oh damn. What's up with Fujiko's hair? Uh, yeah, I'm going to handcuff you. Wait, what? Whoa! Well, oh, yeah, she's. Af I think she's afraid of frogs or something. Oh! Damn. Okay, I guess. Like, who the hell was that? Ran? Oh, probably their men. Oh my... Okay. Probably inside there. <laughs> inside there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, I, I was planning to steal the stuff, you know. Oh, okay, I, okay, you know what? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that was Rupan who was actually dragging her and okay, I understand now. Damn, Zenigata. <laughs> Don't leave her alone. People can kidnap her or something. Oh, he's thinking about Rupa. Ah, it's fine. I'm just kidding. Why are you leaving her alone? There people might come and just... Oh damn. What? Wait, what? What is this place? Like, this is like, where? Oh my god. Um. Um. Okay. Use both hands to, why was he, she using one of her hands? Oh, okay, that was, oh my God, yo. <coughs> well, she's unconscious. Okay. Don't speak!
<laughs> oh my god. Um. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. He's like, Ugh. let me just. And Ruban, Ruban's going to barge in or something, I think. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Oh no. Oh my god. Wait, did she. Wait, how did she get shot? They got her voice. Oh my god, she got shot in her. I thought she got shot in her hand or something. Is she alive or like what? Oh, she really died. <clears throat> what the hell? Oh my god, I was not expecting that. If she probably switched it. No. What? Wait, so I thought Rupan would have. Oh, maybe this is a fake save. I think so. There you go. All right. <laughs> yep. Going into the trap. I'm sure there's a trap set here somewhere. Okay. Wow, you fool. fool like obviously like what what do you expect yeah great this guy's supposed to be a leader wow <clears throat> but how did he how did he? I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that would work. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, what, what's that? Oh, it, it was, I think it's the, I think it's the, I think it, it's the bomb or something, the, the thing that... It's probably the bomb that um, he had within her. There you go. And boom. Oh my 
God. <coughs> well, they got what they deserved. <sighs> Come on, not the time, Rupan. Okay. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> ah. <sighs> oh, that's the end, I think. All right. Okay, you know what? I was not expecting <coughs> her to actually die. Like that's that was unexpected, but I guess you know, like again, this is one thing I feel like you know, like I've seen this in they do this in uh, the movies as well. Like, like whenever there's a character, since usually these are standalone episodes and these like movies as well, they're not canon. I've seen them do that, and like you know, like whenever there's like a character who gets a bit too heavily involved with one of the main characters like in the movies it was rupan like i remember that movie i don't remember the name but there was this one girl rupan really like you know like you know got what kind of involved with and then like they just killed her off by the end and here as well like <clears throat> like they really kind of got serious with each other both like laura i think that was her name yeah and zenigata and that's why they had to kill her off because these people you know like the main characters you know should be what can i say like like not involved with anyone any other any particular character that much because they are probably never going to bring these characters back again like this laura here if she like if they kept her alive you know like this episode where it'll probably like you know zenigata and laura would have gotten involved with each other and in the future they would have had to bring laura back again you know? that's why i think that's why they usually do it like this like whenever someone who is a bit too much emotionally involved with some character they just kill them off by the end of it and <laughs> i i don't know how to feel about that but yeah it, it was sad you know like like what even ah oh. <clears throat> like i thought she got shot in her hand but nah she just you know got shot on her in her stomach and that's it okay so this episode uh episode number 69 and uh Okay, the first part, uh, we see Zenigata just chilling in his house and someone just coming and, you know, uh, <laughs> trying to ask for Rupan. And I'm pretty sure, like, she asked for Rupan because Rupan is, like, a, a master thief. He, he would be able to, he thought, like, yeah, he would be able to steal the safe. That's why she was probably searching for Rupan. And who is the best person to, you know, go to if you want to know anything about Rupan? Zenigata, because obviously Zenigata is a police officer. Anyone can just, you know, ask for him and get like an address or something somewhere. Like, and I'm sure the police, uh, like, you know, station has his records or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's pretty easy to like, you know, track Zenigata down because he's a police officer. Unlike Rupan, where no one knows, like, you know, who, where he is, like, especially an ordinary civilian. So he, she came here and just, you know. Just threatens Zenigata to tell where Rupan is, and Zenigata got him, her, and she, he was like, and then he realized something's happening, and like people just barging in, like with guns, semi-automatic guns, just shooting at her, and he, like, I don't know wh where he had that rope, that makeshift rope prepared. I think he probably had that from the beginning, <laughs> probably just ready to somehow, like, you know, run away if something it goes south. So he just had that ready, just you know, he kind of went down and took a cycle. <laughs> that was funny, you know. See him cycling with her while there's people in cars just chasing him. Oh boy, but yeah. And then somehow he gets a car, I don't know from where he gets it, but still he gets it and he barges in into Rupan's place. And <clears throat> I'm, su I'm surprised like he like 
I guess he knew where Rupan lives, like it's one of his hideouts. I'm pretty sure he probably came here to arrest Rupan multiple times and Rupan was not here. <laughs> I'm guessing he knew where he was. So <clears throat> he just came into his hideout and now as Rupan said, like this is the first time Renikata is actually like you know not like you know screaming arrest arrest like you know like at the top of his lungs. He's he's just here to talk. He's here to talk and he's actually speaking normally with Rupan. He's like, you know what, I need your help. And this is what you need to do. If you don't help me, I'm going to arrest you. <laughs> oh my god. And we get to like, you know, listen to all the like, you know, details here. After like, you know, we get, we get out of that place on, on the helicopter and everything. Um, <clears throat> so the main bag of the story here is this, this billionaire who died because of this guy, this mafia guy, this mafia leader, I don't remember his name. Oh, here we go, Al Kabane, this guy. And <clears throat> he wants to get hands on the billionaire's money. So what he should do is, um, no, not money, sorry, wait, wait, I'm, I'm making a mistake here. Um, oh, yeah, the, the, the secrets that he has, yeah, that, that's what it was, not money, sorry. Um, the secrets that he has, all the secrets, from like you know probably big shots of the people like you know of the country of the world you know he has all those secrets and he probably wanted that and for that he he stole the stuff but then he realized like oh it's actually voice locked and that's why they were searching for the wife whose voice was actually used now it was actually really uh, what can i say like <clears throat> Like, yeah, like, obviously, he's, like, a rich billionaire and, like, you know, this, I guess, like, usually in animes and not only animes, in TV shows as well, most of the people who are, like, you know, this amount of rich, they are pretty, um, what can I say, not good individuals in their actual personal life as a, as a human, they're not good. And, like, that's how, like, you know, they kind of show it in movies and animes. And not only, like, any kind of, like, you know, like, Story. they kind of do it like that and that is true i guess sometimes but not every time like I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of rich very rich people who are really good people you know within their heart i'm, I'm like you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are multiple of them but here this guy here he was like uh, he was like oh like i'm going to use my wife's voice and i'm going to plant a bomb within her so that if he, she tries to betray me she'll blow up and yeah like no one can get my stuff and like what the hell like my god and like ah uh. and then he like as soon as he does that he just dies just, the car just crashes him and then like now his wife is stuck with this whole bunch of problems you know like he's dead now obviously his voice you cannot do anything about it you know what um I'm thinking, like, you know, like, if they had some recording of his voice, you know, the wife could have probably safely just, you know, like, e extracted that whole thing and handed it over to the mafia. If they wanted it, they can have it. But I guess she probably did not have any kind of recording of his husband's voice. <clears throat> like, you know, like, if, if she had the recording, like, the, the, the main thing of the safe was that, oh, his voice should be used, the bomb will be disarmed then, and then his wife's voice, if used, then only he can open it. So the main problem here was like since he's dead, you cannot use his voice. So if act you actually had like his recording and anything like that, I guess you could have just did that. But uh, probably, you know what? I feel like th this could have been done in a very different way if you actually think about it. He's a billionaire. I'm sure he probably went to some, uh, you know, news. Uh, I don't know, like some press conferences. I don't know what they do, what billionaires do. But something, you know, I'm sure he he probably is like, you know, like has talked in front of uh, the camera, like you know, for for the media and everything. Maybe if you can find some, uh, like you know, old recordings. But I guess Rupan is like, you know, this this show is happening in. A very like not very but quite a few years ago so no but they surely they surely must have had you know like some type of recording of his voice he's a billionaire for god's sake like um if like you know if they if Zenigata and Zenigata is in the police if he actually like you know kind of tried to like you know find out um 
you know this thing if he tried to find that like you know his his voice recording somewhere using his police connections or whatever i'm sure he could have found out something and gotten his hands on one of the recordings now obviously the mafia wouldn't do that you know the mafia wouldn't just you know like if, if you went to the mafia and if you were like you know what like uh this is the problem <laughs> first use this voice and then use her voice like, you know, then everything will be fine. I'm sure that they won't be able to do that. Like, you know, because they won't listen. And obviously, Zenigata is a police officer. He cannot condone that happening. Because he's a police. He's supposed to arrest those people. So, I guess what they could have done here is Zenigata gets his hand on uh, one of the recordings of the billionaire. And um, they steal the safe somehow. Not steal, but, you know, like, for a little bit, somehow get his, their hands on. Like, how Lupin infiltrated that place, you know. Um... Take that recording, take uh, Laura's voice recording as well in a very secluded place where there's no one there, you know, take her voice so that no one else could take it. Take her voice recording, Lupin takes both the voice recordings, goes into somehow infiltrates the place, uses both the recordings, you know, disarms the bomb, then like, you know, like takes, like, you know, opens the safe, gets his hand on the evidence or whatever. And like half of the job is done as soon as he disarms the bomb and opens the, the safe. Half of the job is done. Like there's like you know, Laura's life is not in in, in any threat anymore. And then like Rupan can take the evidence and go give it to Zenigata, do whatever the hell he wants to do with it. Like that's not the, the thing here. The main thing here, the main mission here was to save Laura. And that's all like you know that's easily done like this like they could have done it like this I guess but I'm, I'm guessing there's not enough time like you know they're already being pestered by these mafias like each and every time and Zenigata it would have probably taken quite a long amount of time for Zenigata to actually find something you know of, of this billionaire and like you do this plan in this manner I think this was like this would probably be the safest method to do it um but yeah i i don't know <laughs> this is just something that i thought but anyways um so yeah um <clears throat> the guy dies you know and uh laura is in trouble now that's why you know like he wants rupan to go and steal the safe and rupan is like you know what all right and he tries to do it but unfortunately like you know gets captured um what's her name uh fujiko yeah fujiko does that now, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, like, this, this whole Fujiko's personality is really, I feel like the, the reason why her personality is so erratic is because different people are, like, you know, like, like are involved with the story, isn't it? Like, different, um, what can I say, like, you know, the, the producers, the directors change most of the times. I think that's why, like, you know, there's, like, in season one, she was, like, this type of a person at the beginning where she really genuinely, I feel like she cared for Lupin. And then there was like a time, I, even in the movies, I've seen like, you know, her actually genuinely caring about Lupin whenever he's really in trouble. While in this episode, I seen her, she doesn't even care. She's like, oh, goodbye. Like, yeah, like I'll, I'll visit your grave, something like that. And like, I feel like that's basically the reason, isn't it? Like, because the directors, the producers, all of them, I, I think like they get changed multiple times in Lupin in itself. That's why I guess, like, you know, the, the characters themselves are so very different. And I think Fujiko's the character who, whose character, like, you know, differs the most during, like, you know, during the multiple times we see him, her, in the movies, be it in season one or season two. It's probably, that's probably the reason why, like, this... <laughs> erratic personality like it's not something like you know constant her personality changes every season and every episode i feel like <laughs> but anyways um so yeah fujiko god gets him and then like you know everyone's like oh lupin's probably dead you know like in, the, in the, that concrete that thing and i feel like that whole thing with concrete was like i don't know like i've seen like you know people say like mafias or like you know yakuza's can they kind of do this like you know they kind of bury people in concrete and throw them underwater or something i think that was probably what they were doing i don't know like I, i've heard of it like you know probably different in some anime or something like yeah anyways um so okay fujiko then goes and tries to get laura and she's like oh i'll stay here uh, like you know the, the the mafia will just come in and if you don't go get out of this place and hand laura over 
And Zenigata uses his trump card, Frog. <laughs> now, I don't know why Fujiko hates Frog this month. There's probably a backstory somewhere. And in some, like, probably in some episode. Why she hates Frogs this much. Because I remember this has the same thing happening in one of the previous episodes as well. Like, she was extremely afraid of Frogs. And... <laughs> Yeah, okay, so they run away from that place and someone's seen, like, I see, like, we see someone dragging Fujiko out. I thought it was first, I thought it was their men. Then later on, I realized it was actually Rupan when they showed <laughs> Fujiko's leg. I'm like, okay, so that was actually Rupan. She took her and, you know, it's probably constraining her somewhere and using her disguise to infiltrate and uh, okay now here's the thing like obviously like the whole thing with zenigata and laura it, it really seemed like it, it was going to work out and again as i said like whenever someone gets heavily involved with the main characters um you should probably expect them to die by the end of the movie or the episode unless and until that character is one of the main characters like Ujiko get in, can get involved with Rupan. Nothing will happen to her because she's one of the main characters. But if some side character comes in and it seems like, oh, this 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 person is getting involved with the main cast, oh boy, <laughs> they're going to die somewhere, somewhere down the line. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what happened. Now, <laughs> okay, so okay, like we see Zenigata and like you know her kind of trying to get away as far as possible and uh, he, she gets injured from, from like kind of falls down and then she like, when she wakes up she is like st starts talking with Zenigata and oh my god like obviously like someone was there ready with the microphone like, I don't know who these people are these people are extremely talented they how they can stalk people and just stay there you know like Zenigata came to a random place in a random barn or something they were already ready there waiting for Zenyata. great and uh, yeah somehow they were there just ready with a mic they got her voice and even like not only that they even shot her like what the hell like yeah and then then it's over obviously like you know i, I thought maybe she got shot in her hand or maybe she would be able to it would be able to save her they would be able to save her but no she got too involved with Zenyata, one of the main characters so yeah she has to die Oh boy, I literally did not. <laughs> you know, like these deaths in anime, like, oh boy, not my cup of tea. But yeah, anyways, um, so that's that. And then Lupin and, you know, like she, he does, goes according to his plan. Um, he changed the frequency, which is kind of interesting. Uh, obviously, these things are very, like, should be very precise. That's like changing the frequency of the pitches. It would probably do the job and that's why it did not work in the safe and they used a cardboard cutout going on to trick them to actually going there and you know going on top of the building and then finding it out that it was fake which was taken advantage of Rupan where he I, I don't know what he did I think he probably like how did he get that bomb out I'm, I'm thinking about it I guess I'm most probably like you know he probably got that bomb out from her uh, like before she was buried or something you know I'm talking about Laura that's probably what they did I'm not sure how he got that bomb but something like that I guess he already had that bomb ready took the safe brought it to the construction building you know because like that's another thing I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they did that because they did not do the thing in, in that building you know where they were because I'm sure there's multiple innocent people also living there but what they did is they, they lured them to the construction site where probably there's no people there at that moment and took the safe there so that whenever like you know, the whole thing plays blew up you know like only these mafias will be involved no bystanders will get you know get involved in this whole mess so that's what they did they took the safe to that place and they were like yeah here you go no, I'm going to give this to you. now. Like the amount of stupidity is, I think, what was his name? I forgot his name again. Never mind. The the, the boss, the mafia boss. The amount of stupidity he has, he didn't even think that why the hell would Rupan go through this? Like you know, like you know, like all of these uh, to just hand the save over to him. 
you know like he tricked him to go through the building you know and then what rupan does is just hand over the safe to him why did he do that it never crossed his mind he's like oh finally i got my hands on on the thing haha and like like a fool he just you know like and 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 i'm i'm sure because because he's a fool and he's a greedy person he just like you know hurriedly just like you know took the the recorder whatever and lupanande went out and he used that recorder and it blew up because when <laughs> Rupan just snuck in that bomb with the medicine that he was taking and yeah that's how it went and yeah they got what they deserved and uh poor Zenigata but yeah by the end of it we do see Zenigata kind of like bouncing back a little bit I'm sure it's still going to hurt him you know he's still going to get bothered to get going to get sad but he still kind of bounced back a little bit and he was like get out of my sight today is the day that i'm only forgiving you or after from tomorrow again i'm going to get you one is like fine fine like goes away and uh yeah that was episode 69 uh sad episode you know kind of but uh yeah i guess nothing you can do about it uh you know what but but i i like the story the story was nice but still, the outcome was sad. That's basically it. But anyways, all right. So um, yeah, that was that six episode sixty nine. So let's start with episode one hundred and twelve. This is another recommended episode. So yeah, let's see what this is about. So without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number one hundred and twelve of Rupan the Third Part Two. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever your preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three. Go. Oh, is this a new one? Yeah, new opening, I think. What? Was that Rupa? Whoa. Who is this? Is that Zenigata? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh boy. What is it? Oh, it's a sticker. Or no, what is that? Oh, yeah, that is a sticker, isn't it? That's a weird place. Oh, damn. Who the? Who is this? It looks kind of badass. Look at the car. Hmm. Oh, going more. Wait, who is this? Does he know him? Oh, maybe maybe just got cautious because 
Oh, he doesn't know him. Okay. I thought maybe the Wemo knew him or something. Oh, damn. He's also studying. He's like, damn. Huh. Yeah. These are assassins or something? Oh. Wolf and Rose. Oh, that's why the Wolf and the Rose. Goemon's close call. Close call, okay. Wait, that was Goemon singing? I don't Oh no, it's that girl, isn't it? This is- Oh! Yep, this is how they're going to- Oh! Nice! Oh no, he got his! Planted skin, yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Damn! <laughs> oh god. What? What the hell is happening here? What is that? Like a... I'm sure that's not Fujiko. It's probably like a... Right. Yeah. Oh my god, come on! Oh boy. Oh, left something. Oh, he left his, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, expecting someone who Zenigata, okay, there you go. Wait, isn't this illegal to kill people? Like, why is uh, I don't know. Oh, he, they probably tipped him off that. Yeah, they probably tipped them off that, oh, Zirupan is here. Oh, yo. Oh. Damn. <laughs> yo, that's. Hmm. Why is he talking like this? Oh good, smoke bombs, nice! He won't be able to shoot now. None of it is hitting, what the hell are you doing? Oh no! Oh my god, perfect way to. Okay, they're going to target him now. Oh 
<laughs> Down. <laughs> that's that's a fake one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Poor Zenigata. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> okay, that won't work. What are you doing? Okay. That takes care of Zenigata, but... Bigger problem is that guy. Wolf, I think that's his name. Yeah. Fake! Again. Okay, but... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Okay, he's alive. Wait, so maybe that was just an Anastasia or something. Ah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, they're, they're interrogating her because him because they want to know where Lupin is. Why? Why are they do? Are they like hired by someone or something? Like. He's a samurai. Like, you know, like you, you, you can't make him talk like that. Ah. Ah. Oh, great. And that's why you're asking him for weakness, okay. That's why they're doing this? Wow, they're, they're playing a very, they're playing with fire. Oh, God. Ah! I don't think Goemon even knows, like, what is his weakness? I guess Fujiko, you can say? Hmm. <laughs> Come on, we have to. Yeah, right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, they probably just wait. F okay. All right, don't do that. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. They're here asking for Rupan's weakness. I'm sure they know where Rupan is, but they want his weakness. They won't come and listen until. Ah. Oh.
शर आप ठीक है You're asking the wrong person. He's a samurai. What? Oh no, they're going to. Oh my god. Oh no. Ah. Yeah. Oh boy, these guys are going to get what they I'm I'm pretty hopefully they got get what they These guys are so cocky. So cocky, so confident. If they really did it, wow. Okay. Oh my god. I'm let me see. It's probably a disguise. I think that girl is Ah. As I said, his weakness is probably Fujiko. Oh my god. It's definitely her in disguise. It's different definitely rose in disguise. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that is not poisoned. What? Oh, okay. Oh, damn. He had this ready for just in case someday. Obviously, that's Rose. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no, that really is Fujiko. Wait, 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 wait. I thought that was um, Rose in disguise. Nope, he saw your... Ah! No, it is Rose. There you go. <laughs> yeah, they're going to... No, they're going to lead you to uh, Goemon. They're going to lead you to Goemon. There you go. Oh boy. Well, she's so confident she didn't even care about checking if someone's following her or not. So, 
Oh no, they, oh, they, they planned a transmitter on her. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. You fool. This girl was so cocky. She was like, haha, I'm going to. Yeah. Yep, once he gets his sword back. Okay, let's see. Wait, who? Oh! Wait, did he already? Ooh. Oh, Rupan was already here, okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, your sword is here, Zantet scan. There you go. <laughs> um, is there someone standing there? Yeah, you're too cocky, you know, for your own good. No, here and now. But all right, you know what? Goemon got his hand scraped off in in that movie. His hand, you know, everything like that happened. He still fought, so I'm sure he can do this. What the hell? Suck at aiming, what the? Oh! Nice! There you go, yeah that's what you get. Got too cocky for your own good. This, this guy and the lady as well. I don't know what happened to her. Probably Jigen got him or got her or something. There you go. She's probably going to kill herself or something. Let's see. Yep. I knew it. Oh boy. What? <laughs> ah, so can you please tell me what your weakness is? <laughs> your ego. <laughs> yep, it's your ego and Fujiko. <laughs> This is him makes sense. Wait, what? Wait! <laughs> oh. 
Oh god. All right. That was this episode. Wow. Okay, this was a little bit um, you know, uh a little bit darker in, in in tone. But yeah, it was still Rupan, you know, like I feel I feel like um not this one, this uh Ah, no, you know what? I think this was a bit more darker. I, I remember like, you know, something like this also happening in a, little, in a kind of like a different way. It was that movie. Which one was it? I don't remember the name, but the one where Fujiko gets captured and, you know, and um, that there's this weird person inside, you know, like they, they put her in like a, a glass cage and later on Lupin comes and saves Fujiko. That episode, that, oh, I think that was Jigen's gravestone, wasn't it? What was that Jigen's Greystone? I don't remember, but there was like um, that that episode that was a, a kind of dark and gory as well. Uh, but I feel like this kind of takes dark in a different manner. It's a lot more. The tone is a lot more darker. The visuals are not that much, you know. Uh, that movie that I'm talking about that had its visuals and everything a lot more uncomfortable and weird and dark in a way. But here, the tone is darker. Like you know, we we can see what's happening, and we can probably imagine what's probably you know what uh, Goemon had to go through at that moment, and that makes it a lot more uncomfortable and um, darker. I, I can say. So yeah, that's that's what this episode was. So here we made two. I guess they were assassins, or maybe like you know, contract killer or something like that. These two people, uh, Wolf and Rose. And they're like, oh, we are like at, at the beginning. I was thinking, why was were they doing this? Is that is it because they were being uh, hired by someone, or maybe something like that? You know what? If they were actually doing it because of that, I could have said that, you know, because of job they had to do it, and uh, yeah, it would have been okay. But the reasoning in the end that we get to know is one of the most, um, yeah, like. Not one of the most, but it, it's 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 kind of like in a really uh yeah like it's not a reason that I could say like oh because of that they're doing this then it's fine like as I said if they were actually uh, like taking this as like a contract killing thing like they take they took a contract from someone like oh I need to defeat Rupan I need to kill Rupan that's why they're doing it it would have been okay because they're actually in this job you know. Rupan also knows the uh, threats that could happen to his life. This guy, these guys also know about the threat that could befall them as well. So they're all, they all know what they're going to go through. As soon as they walked, started walking this path, they know that, yeah, tomorrow I could, I could be dead and they're ready for it. Uh, so if it was because of that, I would have been like, yeah, it's fine. You know, like their contract killer, no, it, it's okay. But the thing that was really that really bothered me is because they wanted to be top or whatever they basically took goemon as a hostage and tortured him just so that they can get to rupan and like another thing that that really like you know i did not like here is that um they actually were asking goemon for rupan's weakness like, if they were asking him for where rupan lived or where his hideout was was i would have been like all right it's okay they were asking for weakness. So basically what they were trying to do is they were trying to trick the whole thing and somehow get to know his weakness so that they can get him. So like, I guess that's also a way to win, you know, like this is not a fair fight. Like, you know, like people can resort to trickery however they want. I think, I guess Rupan also does that most of the times, so like in resorting to trickery. Um, so you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, now that I think about it, it's okay. Like they're basically contract killers. Like there's no chivalry here. This is like basically you can do whatever you want to, like resort to any trickery, whatever. That's why the way they did it. I guess it's fine. You know, like at, at, at while reacting to it, I thought like, oh, they're actually asking him for weakness. Like ah, that's a little bit. You know, like they're trying to trick the whole system and like you know, kind of, um, like, you know, what can I say? Like take trying to find shortcuts to their fame or whatever and that really didn't sit well sit well with me but as i said like you know like this is also part of the whole job you know they they, they know that people can resort to trickery and this is as i said this is no uh duel between knights there's no rules no regulations 
you can do whatever the hell you want to to survive and defeat the other person there's no trickery like you know you can resort to any trickery you can do whatever the hell you want to to get your goal done so i guess it's fine you know yeah i changed my mind it's fine uh, but yeah, okay, so here, uh, but another thing that I really like, you know, I, I was really surprised with how cocky they were, like, especially the girl, she was like, oh, we're going to really, really easy to be able to handle this, like, you know, like, it's, it's not that much, I guess they probably, this is what happens, you know, if you don't, uh, you know, like, if you don't fail, you know, if you don't fail in your job, you're going to get this arrogant, and that's probably what happened to these two especially the girl most probably whatever job they got you know, whatever they did up until now you know like they probably just breezed past everything were able to do it very well obviously props to their talent like you know they're definitely talented if you think of it in that way if, so one thing that really happened is that, is that they never probably got to uh, you know like taste failure before and that's why the thing called failure doesn't even exist in their head so that's why they got so cocky they were like ah it'll be easy you know like a breeze just like every time but oh boy they were <laughs> the, the, they were they were trying to like you know mess with the wrong people here there's rupan's group uh yeah okay now in the beginning we see them the kind of you know the kind of going on and uh wolf yeah them meeting face to face Goemon kind of got a little bit, we call it a little bit uh, alerted. He probably just you know felt his aura or whatever you call it, and the guy was also a little bit like you know concerned. But the girl came. The girl was like, "Ah, it's fine. You know, like what are you even like you know thinking about? We are wolf and rose. We never let any of our targets escape alive. Like this and that." And the guy was like, "Yeah, okay, fine." And they get him by again like you know tapping into jen's uh goemon's weakness and i guess that's how they operate you know and i don't have any problem with that because if this was actually a one versus one fight between goemon and wolf and rose oh boy i i doubt they'd be able to do anything you know like rose if rose would probably throw his uh, her like you know like that anesthesia or whatever or shoot at him goemon would have just deflected it with his sword and like same thing with wolf as well he, like it would have been an easy defeat so that's what why they actually got him when he was in the hot springs no clothing no weapon just you know like helplessly like you know like naked you can say it like that and they even like you know add like you know the, the rose also came in like that just so that he could like, you know startle goemon because goemon's uh, weakness is women and he just so like he can startle Goemon so that he kind of tries to get away and leaves his sword behind. His sword was actually beside him. So that anything if anything would have happened, he could have gotten it. But he she did that just so that she could make Goemon you know like kind of go away from that from his uh sword. And like they get a distance between those two. And that's when they got him, you know, like used the the wire to get him first and then used the the rose so the, I probably it was like anesthesia or something just knocked him unconscious and as i said i guess that's how they operate they probably just research about the different people get to know their weaknesses and yeah okay um now here's another thing that happened they used zenigata to bring like you know to see if rupan is actually there and I realized that why why he called Zenigata. They probably tipped off Zenigata that Rupan is here. And they used that him to kind of see and confirm whether he's here or not. And like you know, kind of uh, activate a few of the um baits that Rupan would prepare. Like the first bait was like you know, like when uh the hot air balloon kind of went away, uh because of Zenigata, uh Wolf and Rose were able to confirm that that was actually a fake one, otherwise they would have shot it. You know? But <laughs> like the thing he did not ex expect is the motorboat or the, the speedboat that went away was also a bait or a fake one. So he did not realize that. He thought that was a real one and shot it. But turns out it was also a fake. So Rupman and Jinken kind of get 
you know, realize that, yeah, someone else is involved in this and they're trying to get us. So, and Goemon is probably within their grasp. And, uh, <clears throat> but, oh my god, Rengata again get, just gets used for, <laughs> just for some other people. Like, these, these people basically use Zenigata. But I guess he's used to it. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so yeah, okay, now Jigen and, um, oh, and then there was like that torture scene and it was a little bit dark, you can say, you know, like the whole thing with uh, using uh, fingers, you know, to dangle that, that weight. And the different ways they were torturing him were pretty nasty, yeah. And... Um, yeah, like the one with the, you know, like kind of blasting huge sound to his eardrums, that one, um, what else, just whipping him, yeah, playing torture method, whipping the people, and hanging him from, you know, like a height, like all that things, and okay, now then we shift again to uh, Lupin and um, Jigen, they were just, like, you know, getting ready, and they like realized, like, yeah, something is happening, and they kind of make a plan to let everyone know that, yeah, I'm here so that they can somehow bait them in. And it worked, you know, I thought it wouldn't work because they were actually asking Goemon for his weakness. So I felt like they wouldn't move unless and until they got to know the weakness. But I guess it did work out because, you know, like they, you know, they thought like, oh, we can do this. Like that's why Rose alone went to get Rupan. Okay, and then again we get shifted back to Goemon and like the torture, you know, king continues the whole thing with the oh my god that was nasty, you know, like the the drill and the teeth, uh, like yeah, like I've like I've seen like you know like not seen but you know like in in movies and uh, games, in anime as well I've seen like you know there's like in there's different ways like the thing I guess you know like they say what you need to do and do in different interrogation like you know methods is like not let the other person die like you shouldn't do something that are just going to kill him like that actually defeats the purpose of it obviously so things like you know like plucking off your nails i think that's another method like you know just oh my god that's i ah, can't even think about it you know using those pliers or whatever to just grab your nails and take it off doing something with your teeth that's another method that she did you know using the drill um what else um, I think like the, the the music one was new to me. I didn't see anyone do it like this. Like, it was, like blast high pitched music in his ear in in the ear. I've never seen anyone do that. These type of things, you know, like I guess maybe yeah, like like just stuff like that. I I, I don't even want to go into that, those things. So yeah, like that's like the 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 main thing of like you know making the other person talk. Like they need to actually stay conscious so that they like you know like the, the pain actually gets them like if you hit them so hard that they become unconscious it defeats the purpose of it like so that's why in interrogation methods i guess you you hurt them but not that much that that person actually faints or dies so <clears throat> yeah and my god like that's some nasty stuff but okay so they were doing that and uh, the the pigeon or whatever comes and they get to know that Rupan is here and Rose is like oh it's fine like I'll be able to do it you know like um yeah all that stuff and they were like you know saying like oh Rupan's weakness what is Rupan's weakness now I kind of said like there's one probably weakness there's one weakness probably Rupan has that is Fujiko and it is true to, to, to some extent you know the Fujiko is kind of his weakness uh because if the real Fujiko actually gets into trouble he would definitely Rupan would definitely Try to go save him her since this was a fake one like he wasn't being like you know he, he didn't get <laughs> into trouble but if something actually re really happened to fujiko he would have just rushed there i think so it is true indeed you know like fujiko is like one of the weaknesses of rupan that's true but not in this manner this uh, here he basically kind of uses rose as like you know wearing a disguise just come and trick Rupan, but not this way. This obviously Rupan would be able to realize this is not Fujiko because I don't know the way she was talking, I guess, and maybe like how affectionate she was trying to be to Rupan. I guess that's another reason why Fuji uh, Rupan probably did not 
no um believe that it was fujiko i think she probably did not believe it was fujiko uh but there's a few things that also <laughs> the way she tried to get him first she used the rose to actually you know like get him but <laughs> he just ducks the rose go go somewhere else then she you know here's where i kind of got a little bit confused i i was a little bit like uncertain i was like wait a minute is this actually the real fujiko because the way she used her you know like leg to use the um knife that really reminded me of the way fujiko does stuff i was like wait a minute did they really hire the actual hired the actual fujiko to do this and you know like use the his her leg to stab try to stab rupan but rupan saw in his in her eyes the reflection of the the gleam of the blade so he just jumped up on the chandelier i don't know how he jumped like that but he did somehow <laughs> and he she got stuck to the bed and that's when rupan comes in and just tears off her mask and that's when i was like okay so this is really rose that's not fujiko like for a moment i actually got a little bit confused i was like wait a minute did they really hire the actual fujiko to do this that would have been a problem but nah it, it was just rose okay and <clears throat> now then they let her go and like you know lupin is like just let her go like you know like um we're going to follow her and we're going to get to the hideout and they even like you know planted the transmitter and rose was so perturbed and you know like at that moment so rattled that she didn't even realize that she was being tailed uh and there was like a transmitter within his her rose so then like then we get to see the final like i guess uh, when they were not here Rupa Rose was not here. Probably uh, Guemon did something and probably loosened the chain somehow. So when you know the the guy like when Wolf tried to slash him, he used the chain to stop him. Now one thing I've been thinking from from the moment like you know this whole thing started happening, like I was pretty sure Guemon would never say anything because first of all he's a samurai. Samurais have this like you know the code, you know, this 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 samurai code. They they usually never betray their people like you know the people they are actually friends with or whatever you know like they have some high code of like you know uh, stuff like that and they're very disciplined you know they are very tough very resilient so they chose the wrong person to actually interrogate they chose the wrong person as jigen says in the end if he got captured he would have probably just said it you know or maybe not you know what maybe he was just, you know what I don't think Jigen would have said this as well. Yeah, like he, he I yeah, he he was just joking at that moment. I doubt Jigen would sell out Rupan for this. But he he would, probably Jigen wouldn't be able to survive, you know, because mm, Goemon is on an, another level, like you know, like it, because he's like a trained samurai. He he goes through so much training and everything. He's like a tough person. So Jigen would have probably just I don't know. Got, probably got an unconscious, or maybe he he would have died if if this went on, and if someone actually did the same things that they did to Goemon to Jigen, no, he wouldn't be able to survive. So they they picked the wrong person here. <clears throat> Picking Goemon was a mistake. And yeah, okay. So then Rupan comes in. Oh no! Sorry, sorry. I was like, no, I was mistaken. The the chain uh, Goemon did not untie it. It was Rupan who untied it. Who came in later on? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. I forgot about that. So Rupan just hands over the Dante skin to him. They have a little moment, you know. He was like, oh, like you know, like uh, Goemon was like, yeah, I would never like you know sell even if like you know like uh, what did he say? Like I would never sell you out. Where is it? Um, I would rather die than sell out a friend. There you go. Okay, and then uh, first Rupan was going to battle, and then Goemon was like, "Nah, I'll do it. This is my battle." And yeah, okay, and then he tries to shoot him shoots at him and misses everything i'm like what the hell and rupan just shoots one bullet and it just destroys the <laughs> anyways now they're like they're like okay you 
use the swords both of you that'll like you know like that's the proper way to do this to end this and i'm, I'm pretty sure wolf is probably very talented with the rapier but this is an actual samurai you're talking about goemon is like one of the best people like you know in the, the way of swords swordsmanship so he even like you know cut off a whole airplane using his uh, sword so haha this is chance play to him he he used his mouth to defeat him and uh, yeah, there, there you go that's what i said you know if they actually fought nothing like this would have happened it just got going on by the you know like tapping on his weakness and that's why he got captured so yeah <clears throat> and then rose comes in i was pretty sure at that moment rose would have you know would probably commit suicide and that's what she did and they did not always say they, they could have stopped her but they didn't like and i think that's like i, I feel like that's like, what can i say like that's good in this uh you know like what do you call it in this premise because like if they actually stop rose what would she have would, would she even do like she would have probably been like in this like, you know like become like this person grief stricken with vengeance and like it would, it would kind of go in a very bad direction so they just let her like you know kill herself and i guess yeah that's like a proper end to this whole thing and uh yeah and then in the end they kind of joke around <laughs> jigen is like oh what's your weakness like you know what should i tell if someone actually captures me and everyone is like, I have no weakness. I'm, I'm, I'm perfect. And I'm like, yeah, that's your weakness. <laughs> that's probably your weakness. Um. Okay, now here's one thing that Goemon says. He says Rupa's weakness is his hair makes him L look like a muck. What? I think the 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 subtitles are different here. Like, um, Goemon says something else in Japanese. I. I'm not able to follow him. It says just a sec. Just a sec. Rupan no jakten wa Rupan's weaknesses. What? Um. Oh, Rupan no jakten wa kega sambon ukunai to yu koto da. I think this is like probably a proverb or something. You know, this is not like Kega K means hair, isn't it? Yeah. Sanbon. San means three. Tukunai means less. So I think this is like a proverb or something. I've I've heard this saying before as well. I remember. Like in, in other animes as well. This is like a proverb. I think that's why they try to translate it like that. And is the like a mission translation or something? I don't know. Let me know if this is actually this has some other meaning. I think this is like a proverb or something. They're called proverbs, aren't they? Like you know that um Goemon is trying to say here. Uh something like that. Because I've heard like you know other in other anime as well, people saying the same thing. Kega Sambon Sukunai. Something like that. So anyway. Yeah, and then they kind of laugh and everything, and it's, yeah, it's the end. Wow. Oh, both these episodes were really good. I liked it. Uh, the first one, it had like a sad ending, uh, but the story was interesting. I liked it. And this one, it, it, it was interesting in a very different way. It had like a dark tone, but still, like, you know, like the, the way they kind of did that and seeing Goemon's you know, persistence and everything. Yeah, that was really great. I enjoyed these two episodes. So, yeah, that was fantastic. Love these. So that's it. Uh, thank you for recommending these to me. And yeah, um, these two episodes, that was my reaction to them. Now, as I said before, like there, I'm still taking recommendations from part two, that is season two. Uh, six more episodes you can, uh, you know, uh, recommend to me. Two episodes per person. So if you are like, you know, if you want to feel free to comment down below. Uh, but if I don't get any other recommendations, then next week I'm going to react to episode number 143 and 153 these two are also recommended to me so i'm going to react to these two um so yeah so that's it so thank you guys for watching these were my reactions to episode number 69 and episode number 112 of rupan the third part two if you guys enjoyed these two 
uh, uh, this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that was it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of rupan the third part two reactions until then goodbye and have a nice day